Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your website multilingual using G Translate or Google Translate plugin. So if you have a uh, English version website, then you can easily uh, make a language switcher here or anywhere on the website or in the menu. And when user click on another language, then your website will automatically be translated into that language using G Translate. So uh, for this, we will need a plugin. Come to your plugins, add new. Now type G Translate. Press enter. There are multiple options available for G Translate, but uh, I'll go with the first one, which is Translate AI Multilingual Solution. Click on install now. Now activate the plugin. After activating the plugin, you will see a new menu under settings or tools. Click on G Translate under settings menu. On this page, you can choose the look of your button, which is drop down with flags flags and drop down flags like this and drop down like this simply drop down and simply flags but I'll go with nice drop down with flags like this now translate from English my default language of the website is English and show in menu Yes, I'll show it in primary menu. Show flex uh, language selector. Navigate language names. Yes, native language names. Show uh, floating language selector. Show native language names. For example, if uh, we choose French, if we choose this option, then the names will be in their native languages for example Arabic in Al Arabiya and simply Japanese, Netherlands, English, Francis and if you choose uh, if you deselect this option then all things will be in English so I'll choose this one okay what languages I, ha I want to uh, translate in uh, yes I'll choose Arabic, France, French, Dutch and I'll deselect Portuguese and Italiano Espanol is okay and now save changes now let's come to your front end and refresh the page to check if language is working yes it's working but it's a little bit off the screen but let's check if it actually works let's turn into Espanol and all the site will be automatically translated into Spanish. Let's turn into French, English again, and it's working. Now you can change the position of the menu by using the short code or this, uh, this bar. You can uh, add this widget code to sidebars or the footer or header or anywhere else. So this is the short code for um, using uh, within the pages or within a menu section. So uh, this was all for today's video. If you uh, have any question, then please leave your, com your question in the comment section. And please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future updates. And it's also good for our video. Thank you.